This is a tutorial for using components off of an imported PCE project in Circuit Studio. Couldn't find anything on the internet that directly addressed this, um, uh, at least addressed it in something that I could understand. So I decided to make my own to help others. Um, I've imported this PCB project and I want to use these connectors um, and I want to organize them in a, in a uh, project, in a um, component project so that I can use those components across you know, any other board I want to. I've already done this once. Um, I've created a, con a library package called Phoenix Contact because that's what those components are. Uh, the way you do that is you file, go file, um, new project, integrated library. Okay, once you click that, this kind of structure will, will come up where you have the, um, it'll say like integrated library, da da da. You, right, you, you just right click and say save project, okay, and then you name it whatever you want and you put it wherever you want. Next thing you do is you add a schematic library and a PCB library. So I'm going to do that right now. Add new to project, schematic library, add new to project, PCB library. Okay. Next thing you need to do, you need to go into wherever you have your PCB project that you imported. Go find the schematic document. Um, if you don't want to recreate the schematic, which some of these I don't, I don't want to. Um, so, you know, uh, I'm going to go into my schematic document. Here's the part number uh, that, I'm, that I'm interested in. Um, I'm going to copy this, okay? And then I'm going to go to the schematic library that I created underneath my component, or my... Uh, my um, integrated library. Go to, to go to the schematic library, and then you know you're gonna first first kind of you know thought is oh I'll just click in the screen here and then Control V. Well, doesn't work. You need to go click this little tab here, SCH library. Click the tab. Then you're brought into this window. Now you can cop. Now you can click paste. Okay. And you'll notice there's a component underscore one here. I just delete that. I don't know if I'm not supposed to. I, don't, I have no idea, but that's what I've been doing thus far, and everything seems to be okay. Um, I'm going to adjust this length of this guy so that I can accommodate some larger pin definitions. I'm going to uh, rename this stuff. Okay. I'm gonna, this is just what I'm wanting to do. Um, I would recommend um, deleting the footprint that's here. Uh, at least for me, uh, these footprints are referencing locations that um, aren't uh, available to the um, Circuit Studio, to, to however I have the default set up. Uh, it can't find this stuff. Um, so um, I'm just deleting the footprints. Um, edit the pins. I want these to be just you know, generic. You'll probably have your own setup there. Okay, I'm happy with this schematic library, uh, so I'm going to click save, and I'm going to save it as the part number, and I'm going to save it underneath a folder that I, you know, that I have set up for Phoenix Contact uh, connectors. Save. Yes, I want to replace it. Okay. Next is the footprint. So I'm going to go back to my projects tab, click this guy. Okay, so now I'm ready to put a footprint down here, okay? I'm going to copy the footprint off of the PCB document. So here's the PCB document. I'm going to click or right click, copy, and then you have to click on the component, okay? And then I'm going to come back to my PCB and I'm going to paste it. Okay? And you'll see my cursor is kind of in the middle or whatever. It's it's not a very good setup right here. Like I can't move this very well, so I'm just going to try and center that. Um, I'm going to rotate it here and try and center this guy on the pin. Okay. All right. So I have my my connector placed in the footprint. I'm going to check everything. Make sure everything's good. Okay. Things look okay. I'm going to save this. As the part name. Um, what is the part name? One nine three five one eight seven. Okay, good deal. Now you go into the PCB library. You'll notice the name is not the part number. I'm going to change that. 
one nine three five one eight seven. And I'm going to put the description here just for the okay. So now we have to link the schematic to the footprint. Let's go back to projects, come back in here to the schematic, go to this little tab here, double click this. Let's add a footprint. It's going to say, oh, I don't know where to look. We're going to put in the model name 1935187. Um, double click this again. We're going to go to library name. Um, we're going to browse. Just click browse and it'll take you into the PCB library. Uh, find the uh, footprint you just created. You may not have a 3D model. Uh, yours might actually look like, you know, like that or something like that, but you know, uh, that's what we want. Okay. 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 And save. Okay. So at this point, you can, um, this stuff is saved inside Altium. Altium knows where it is, but it's not connected to your project in any way, shape, or form. So if you go in here and try to add it, you got to add the library. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll describe that in just a sec. So we're going to go over to this document where I'm going to place this connector, okay? And um, what you want to do is you want to um, add, you, you want to add these the libraries you just created, the schematic and the PCB library, and you want to add that to your PCB library component uh, documents here. Okay, so you go into you open up one of your your either schematic or your PCB document inside that uh, project, um, and then you hit the libraries tab, which will bring up this side bar. Click on libraries, go into project, add a library and install the PCB and schematic libraries that you just created. Okay, close, done. Now, right click, place, component, choose the component, choose the library. I usually choose the schematic library. Click OK, OK. There's your deal. There's another one. Let's annotate quietly. Yes. Okay. Now let's update the PCB and see if all our footprints are in there. And they are not. Well, they are in there, but you can see I linked the incorrect footprint because I probably chose the wrong library because the part number is relatively similar. Let's go back and fix that. So in my schematic here, um, uh, let me just go back real quick and make sure you understand what I'm saying. Okay, so J3 and J4 are the connector, uh, the connectors that I just added. Um, um, here. Uh, wait for it to load. Circuit Studio is freaking out right now. I'm getting a bunch of information. Please wait a moment. Not sure what's going on. And some access violation error that keeps on popping up means nothing. Okay, so you can see these are 1935187. I'm guessing I chose 1935161 as my footprint model which probably some of you saw when you were watching the video and saying, what is this guy doing? Okay, so we're gonna go back to the schematic library and change that and update the model. Go back to this little SCH library, right click this guy, or I'm sorry, double click that guy, remove this footprint. Sure enough, I had the wrong um, part name. Remove this guy, add a footprint, and we're going to browse and we're gonna to go to not one or 5161, we're gonna to go to 5187. Oh, look at there. Four pins. We're good. Okay. Okay. Let's save this sucker. Projects. Let's go back to this guy. 
Um, you know, I don't know where the update or anything like that is. I, I have no idea. I don't know why that's not in here. Um, it, it, please tell me if it is somewhere that I'm just missing it, but I would love just to right click and then say update part, but I, I don't know if it exists. So what I'm going to do is delete these suckers. And I'm going to add it again. Place component. Choose. Um, yep, looks good. Footprint looks good. I'm in my schematic library. Do that. Um, uh, the library and click yes. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay. We're going to annotate again. Okay. J3 and J4. Let's update the PCB. Execute changes. Okay. Hey, look at there. Our components are in there and they are, um, you know, have the right name, have the right footprint, and everything like that. Uh, that concludes this, uh, this tutorial. Uh, I will add others as I see fit. Thanks.